They haven't started living the life yet. <laughs> Cha ching! <laughs> no one really buys paper charts these days and. No. You just no? Click, click. <laughs> the more I drink anyway, the better the answers. Yeah, well. so, <laughs> so, don't worry. So, do I say hello? Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, I'm Andrew from Cork. <laughs> I'm, I'm Caitlin, I'm from Australia. We're on sailing on a westerly Seahawk. She's 34 feet long and uh, yeah, a capable boat. <laughs> it's called Caitlin, so I called it after Caitlin because uh, it was her anniversary and <laughs> I forgot to get her a gift, so I thought it's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> nah, something like that, anyway. But uh, it kind of was. It's, that. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's, yeah, it's... We would like to make it a thing that keeps going and not go back to normal life, but it's yeah, it's not one of those things that you can be super sure of that it's going to be um, what you expected. I guess it's challenging and there's a lot to learn, and I think we'll make it work. Because um, I don't know if we could go back to normal life again. Yeah? You do for a week or something, and then you'd be like, nah. <laughs> and then start crying again. <laughs> Come back this to is the this is why I left. <laughs> <laughs> so a year, ish, isn't it? Just less than a year. It's less than. Oh no, we lived in the boat since COVID, so March. Yeah. Yeah, it's just less than a year. Oh, definitely a few more years. Oh, the, Definitely yeah, a few more something years. very bad would have to happen for us to yeah. not um, give it at least another two years, you know. Um, and it'd be hard to see us after getting the swing of the whole thing yeah. um, and kitting out the whole boat, which is, you know, the biggest expense. You know, like it's funny, like, you know, owning the boat, you think you've got a house and it's cheap to live and all that, whereas equipping the boat you could actually rent a house for a year cheaper than what you'll spend on equipment for the boat it's kind of hard to say i think to be honest we did spend quite a bit this year and i think when you're only getting used to a certain lifestyle you're going to be bound to spend a bit more than usual once you get into the swing of it like i can see even for another two years uh big spends like spending you know eight to ten thousand euros a year on more equipment at which time it'll have cost us about three times the market value of you know <laughs> a boat if you look it up on boat sales but that's the reality of it and everyone that thinks otherwise <laughs> they haven't started living the life yet and they don't understand <laughs> well we didn't save quite a lot we have saved a lot over the years hmm. um with this goal in mind, um, we we did buy a rundown cottage in the middle of the recession in Ireland. Um, so we renovated that from derelict practically to rentable, and we now have that rented out. And then we we did plan to try and live off the money that we make from the rental house, uh, which we could if we were quite. Um, tight with our expenses but this year luckily because of COVID um, we've been able I've been able to work for the university that I always worked for um, when we were back in Cork and that's been really helpful for the extra expenses that we've wanted to spend this year. Uh, yeah I mean this is like when you think about it, this is the the lowest point of the year where you're, you know, like we're actually, the view's quite nice here in the yard where we are, but like what you can't see is it's like a bog underneath. We're in the only part of the yard <laughs> that doesn't have gravel and doesn't drain. Um, it's December and we're sitting out here in very light clothing and in Ireland everyone's freezing. <laughs> it was better than any Irish summer. Like, yeah. yeah. We've really loved it. Like we can't believe the amazing people that we've been meeting. Like. You know, we started an Instagram page for the the real reason was to actually be able to connect with people our own age doing the sailing life. A lot of people do it in their retired ages mm. and, you know, we want to be able to meet young people that have 
similar interests to us and I think Instagram was probably the best decision we've ever made with this you know being able to meet all these awesome people like being here it's like a big family like especially through COVID like I don't think we could have wished for anything better really to be honest yeah we've had a great time yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, this year it has the been, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, like, well, I've been working full time, so I think a part of it is the fact that I'm working anyway, so Andrew's not the time. Andrew is a busybody. He, like, he always likes to be doing something anyway. But we've never been people that would go on a beach holiday and lay out. We get bored. Yeah. So, like, I'm working, he keeps busy, and that means he's improving the boat all the time, which is awesome because the boat just keeps getting nicer and nicer. But next year we've said, no, we're going to have to do something different. Like I've said, I'm not going to work, at least for the summer, and we're going to enjoy it like we said we were going to. Definitely not. Like, it's easier. Like, the, the work we've been doing has mm. all been by, by choice. You yeah. know, all these things you hear about happening haven't happened. So, you know, in that way, it's been way easier. I don't, I don't think it'd be fair to call it a hard life. No, um, not at all, but I think I think what we all realise living this life is it becomes quite easy to forget exactly what it was like before. Um, and like, Andrew was working like a dog back when yeah. we were in Ireland, you know, years renovating a cottage and then working full time and then coming home on the weekends and working on the weekend. Like, I think everyone's probably put in a good few hard yards to be able to get out doing something like mm. this and um, it's definitely easier than the hard slog nine to five or whatever 12 hour days that some of us used to be doing just buy the bloody parts and do it yourself um, so yeah if you can tune a guitar you can tune a rig and I can't tune a guitar <laughs> our mast is still standing so <laughs> yeah let's go for it I suppose the moment when I realised I wanted to do uh, something like sailing, it didn't specifically have to be sailing, but I just did not want to be in a controlled situation, it was probably when I was in primary school, I just did not like being herded around the place. I guess the moment for me wasn't really a, a, like an event, I guess, it was, I, I kind of have to agree with Andrew, it was like more of a progressive thing from when I was younger. Um, I always found Australia, like I love Australia. Australia is a beautiful country to have come from, um, but it can lack culture, I guess. And travel for me was always one of those things I was just always fascinated with. It was just like, I am, I'm half European. And my grandparents are from Europe and like, I loved their culture, but then never really got raised with it. So then I was kind of like, I want to see the world. I want to experience different things and stuff. And I should know, like we were kind of talking about it and like as cheesy as it sounds, when I met Andrew, Andrew was like probably one of the first people that kind of, I guess, spoke the same language as me. I was already looking at like having a business or something that would allow me to travel and earn money, do you know? And then he was like, oh, I want to sail around the world and I was like well that's a really cool idea do you know probably meeting Andrew definitely solidified it in a way like in a goal but previous to that it was just probably just being a bit bored with what Australia has to offer do you know and travel and experiencing more yeah that's probably for me kind of a bit What's it? shitty at the start well, like, I'll tell you... <laughs> well, it was COVID, like, you know, right, right from it was this, kind of a rough start. No, but from us throwing the lines, it was kind of funny because Caitlin went down below and our friends were on the marina waving to go and Caitlin came up. And we were already, wouldn't get it out of the way. We were already gone and <laughs> Caitlin was like, what, what, what have you done? I want to take a photo of us leaving. And so, like, that will tell you how keen I was to go. I don't actually think we're very emotional, to be honest. Um, I thought we probably would be more emotional. Ah, it felt brilliant. Like it, it felt great. Felt really, really yeah, good. It was, um, but it was wild. Like it was blowing a gale. Like yeah. we had to, we had to get reefs in instantly. 
we were afraid somehow that if we didn't leave then mm. maybe there could be another lockdown mm. our friend mightn't be able to come with us like there was an opportunity to just go and uh, we were going to take it and that's what the boats the boats made for that anyway yeah. you know like well it gave um, us a really good confidence in the boat because it was yeah. the first time having her own bad yeah. weather and like she just handled it yeah. like a breeze yeah. the weather and stuff like that yeah. we just don't have enough experience so much to, to learn with it all to be confident yeah. with what we're you know when you read the weather forecast uh, I don't think there's any course you can go on that can transfer the feeling of what 40 or 50 knots is you know with or without tide and you know all these different things that come into play we did do a long winter navigation theory course and then we've both done our day skipper to be honest the day skipper was good but like I got my license would I feel confident mooring the boat in a marina probably not but you know like you obviously learn quite a bit but I think more the the long drawn out like 12 week navigation course we learnt so much in that that was very valuable um, yeah. very valuable yeah. whereas yeah. the practical ones are obviously good but I think without like for Andrew I think it was maybe I don't know you kind of, it was too easy for you in a way like but would, then it was also like for people that, that don't but, have yeah don't have knowledge I also feel like you get pushed through it as well so I don't know like I think if people get wound up with needing or thinking they need all this education and all this sort of stuff like yes there's a lot to learn and yes if you have the time to do it and you have the money to spend on it then great but it also doesn't mean that you can't get out there and do it without it like because to be honest a lot of the navigation stuff that you learn as well I think everyone agrees that as bad as it is, we're not all going down plotting our charts on paper charts and no one really buys paper charts these days and no. You just, no? Cl click. <laughs> you just click on Navion. You must have loads of money for you, uh... <laughs> That's a hard sailing. one. <laughs> really? Not sailing for sure. Well, like, of course you the, do, but like the, you don't learn the theory. You don't the, learn what you want to learn how to sail by a cheap boat. Very okay? true. Very true. And go out and make your mistake. Um, I think the one thing that we've been saying lately that we both really agree on is the only person holding yourself back in life for whatever it is that you want to do is yourself. Like as cheesy as it sounds, but like. We all have the power to make whatever decision it is in our heads and just go for it. And if you work hard enough, like, you get there, you know, like. Yeah, totally. I completely agree with that, yeah. Yeah. And uh, like the sailing, the sailing life, because a lot of people are going on about how hard it is and stuff like that. And do you know what? Like, it is tough at times because, you know, you're trying to sleep and blah, 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 you know, the anchor drags or whatever, you know, and it's all very serious, which it is, you know, but. Um, I, I think people shouldn't be put off by that because um, it's it's well worth it for the feeling of no. freedom that you get out of it, you know. Um, so yeah, that's it. Go for it, guys! Yeah. <laughs> Buy a boat and so go much. sailing. Yeah. <laughs>